or you go out to these Midwestern towns, you are driving through the cornfields, and there you would see a granary and a steeple. It's kind of the anchoring point to the community. The German immigrants that came down from Chicago started this town. First thing they did, we've got to build a church. We have to call a pastor. We have to build a school. Attended from kindergarten through eighth grade. Have a lot of great memories. Moved here in 1960. I was in third grade when I came here. 24 in my class. We had a very good basketball team. A lot of times it was standing room only over there in that gym. Not just from families, but from congregational members that supported the school. My two brothers and my sister all went here, and then my daughters went here. I can't understand why a parent wouldn't, after being in the school yourself, not want to send your children and then your grandchildren. I really see the value of what the culture of St. John's has done to our kids. When you have children, you want the best for them. The kids learn on a daily basis the Word of God and what it means to them. I love working with kids. I come to work and I get to teach about God and I get to teach them about life. They're very, very interested in learning and it's fun to watch them explore the world around them. I feel safe when they're there. I feel like the older kids are looking out for the younger kids. It's more of a family atmosphere. One of the concerns that we had initially was, are our kids going to be able to be involved in sports? It was such a small school. The quality of the program is seen throughout the whole school. The competitiveness, whether it be volleyball, baseball, basketball, track, all of which have top-notch volunteer coaches. Basically, the whole community comes out and sees the game and, and watches the kids play. I attribute a lot of that just to the mere fact of how close the church is with the school. Every Christian school is a mission. I love being able to integrate the Christian faith in all that we do. When you have disagreements or arguments or fights, you can show forgiveness and talk about how we are all sinners and God forgives us. We're hoping with these children that come through these walls to not just teach them the academics. We want to excel at that, but also to begin to make future citizens who will benefit those around them. They have that education and the religion built into their curriculum every day, and it's molding them into who they are. I'm teaching now some of my former students' kids, and it's neat to see those parents now, they're teaching their children Christian values and carrying it on with their families. The church community is just a big piece of the support system. The congregation supports the school financially big time, but in other ways too, they come to events that are here. And there's men and women of the church who come and mentor the children. The kids have sports, they have theater, they have musical instruments. I mean, here you are in Little Buckley and you have this beautiful school that's been completely remodeled and updated and you can just tell how much the congregation and the families support it and want it to keep thriving. The volunteer hours in that school were amazing at the time. My grandfather was a carpenter here in town and he put hours into the building of that school. My dad too, and everybody worked on that. And that's been passed on from generation to generation here. And it wouldn't be if it wasn't successful. Any farmer, when he begins to plant, he plants in faith. He doesn't know what that growing season's gonna bring as these little towns sometimes shrink. We're not having as many kids per family. There's less to hold the kids in these communities. But the mission of the church is to plant the seeds of the gospel. So schools cannot exist any longer by just relying upon the kids within the church. They've got to reach out, and in, in doing so, we see families coming to church from outside, and we're gaining new members. There's kids that come from Rantoul, from Paxton, from Gilman, and Narga. It's a lot of different communities pouring into St. John's. Anybody looking into St. John's, you're gonna get a school that loves your kids, prays for your kids, have a great extracurricular environment, and overall is a small, intimate family that 
Julie and I couldn't be more proud to say that we sent our kids to. If we're just faithful in planting those seeds, there's going to be an abundant harvest. The gospel knew no bounds culturally in its day, and we need to remember that. Places like Buckley with the school have a great opportunity still.